Hey, I'm Kira from Kira Derryberry Photography in Tallahassee, Florida, and these are my tutorials. Um, I was just editing a session and I found the perfect couple of images for that were a good example for a, a head swap tutorial, so I thought I would just go ahead and do it. Um, this baby is killing me. This baby is so adorable. Her hair is just out of control. I love this kid. Um, so I was going through these images and I found this image with super happy face and then I found this image where I like that mom is actually kissing her cheek but she's got kind of a weird day you know I don't know blinky face going on so um, I want to take this face and put it on this face so we have this image and then I'll, I'll finish the image so um, this is this was just taken um, by a big window in my studio. Um, I'm going to open these in Photoshop because this is where I like to do these things. Hopefully, there we go. Great. Okay, so we've got uh, image A that has the right face and image B that has the wrong face. So first thing I'm going to do is show you where we're going to end up. Um, this is actually where we're going to end up, is right here. Um, I always hate tutorials where I have to wait till the very end to see if I'm actually going to see what I want to see. So that's what we're going to get to. I'm going to close that back down, minimize that. All right, so I'm going to just select all and command C for copy and then command V for paste. Okay. So um, I did not tripod this. I, I often don't tripod things, especially when I'm working with kids. So um, there is some movement here. I'm going to take the opacity down of uh, the good face layer until I can sort of see some ghosting. And then I'm going to start just sort of um, nudging that image over until, in this case, I think it's going to be, it's going to work out best if I line up this part of the cheek that matches right here. I think that's gonna work out best for me. Okay, all right, so it looks kind of weird now. Um, I'm going to take the opacity back up, okay? And there we are. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a mask on this layer with this button here, the quick mask button. So I'm gonna click that. Now, when the mask is white, I get asked this a lot, when the mask is white, it means that it is applying that entire image to the layer. Um, if the mask is black, then it's not applying any of that image to that um, uh, to the image. So um, I kind of think of it like lights on and lights off. If you can, if that works for you. All right. So I'm going to lights off this so I don't see that layer at all. Because all I want to do is paint in a little bit of that face uh, back into the image. So I'm going to make sure I've got my brush up at 100%. Uh, I'm going to turn my white uh, palette back on, and then I'm going to start painting those eyeballs back in kind of spooky. I know. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now I'm lucky here because the baby didn't move too, too much. So it's not like making her face or her head look kind of weird to just have like a different set of eyes and mouth and nose on it. Um, there have been cases where I've had to switch an entire head or an upper body or an arm where you do have to be kind of careful. But this is, like I said, a very easy one, a very quick tutorial on it. All right. So I'm going to turn that layer off and on and off and on. Let me see if I messed up on anything here. If I turn it off, let's see. I'm going to just, I do, oops, whoops. I just want to make sure, um, I'm going to paint this back in. I just want to make sure that I'm not affecting the mom's face at all. All right, not too bad. Not, nothing that's going to be noticeable, right? That's what I always do. She just looks like she's blinking. Okay. All right, so that's good. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm done with the head swap, so I'm just gonna merge it and um, I'll flatten my layers. So I'm gonna do Command Shift E. It's gonna give me a flattened layer. Next thing I'm gonna do is just do a little bit of cleanup on the skin. I mean, these, these people have beautiful skin, so there's not anything to worry about here, but I'm just using um, this tool here, the Spot Healing Brush tool, um, and just, I don't know, I'm going overboard here. I probably don't need to do all this stuff. Um, I'm gonna see if that kind of cleans up that hair a little bit. Eh, not so bad. All right. Um, she's got kind of a weird lump, so I'll probably liquefy that too. But um, let's take care of the skin. I smooth skin just a little bit, and I have an action that I just uh, made real quick um, using Imgenomic uh, Portraiture on the default setting. I just have, I just click this little button, 
we're in portraiture people are texting me um, and then um, that applied it to the whole layer all right so go away Facebook do, 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 do. all right that applied it to the whole layer um, I am going to make sure I click on the mask I'm going to turn again I'm gonna invert it so I'm just doing command I to invert this to black so now the portraiture is not applying anywhere to the setting or to the image I'm going to, oops, I'm going to put it back on white and I'm just going to paint it in on the areas of the skin that I want to worry about. I avoid the eyebrows and the eyes. I don't like to lose sharpness there. Um, I'm going to just kind of softly do it on mom here and on her nose. All right. I don't want to go overboard. Okay. All right, and the other thing is, it's a little, little hot over here, so I, I'm going to flatten my image if my dryer is done or my washing machine is done. You hear that beeping. All right, so I'm going to make a new blank layer. This is how I dodge and burn. Um, new blank layer. I am going to go to soft light. I'm going to select my brush tool with the B key, but you can click it over here. And I'm going to take the opacity down um, to like 11%, all right? All right, I got my brush on. I'm going to make a bigger brush. And in this case, I want to burn. So I'm going to select the black. And I am just going to dab, 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 dab over here on this side. It's just a little hot for me. I, I, like, the, I like the transition of the light to dark. But I just feel like it could have it could have been a little darker. All right. This is, I haven't lost any detail in my blacks, but I don't like how dark her hair is at the top. So I'm going to just take the white and just dodge a smidge into the dark zones here and maybe lighten up this connection right here and all right just some general dodging no big deal okay I'm gonna merge again command shift E all right I'm gonna just just this bugs me so I'm gonna make a new layer with command J I'm gonna duplicate my layer duplicate my layer and I'm gonna go to liquify I don't want to go crazy. I don't want to make it look unrealistic or too, too smooth. But I mean, I think, I think it just needed a little nudge, right? It's, it's a pretty casual photo. It's not super styled. I mean, it doesn't need to be well coiffed or anything, but I just that lump of me. I like this crazy hair, so I'm going to leave it. All right. And then lastly, I'm going to flatten that. Lastly, I'm going to do a, a sharpen. Um, I use um, high pass to sharpen. I have made an action up here for it. So I'm going to run it. Um, oh, it's, it's telling me that I don't have two layers and it wants to merge visible and it's not currently available. I'm just going to say okay. I'm not going to go into high pass sharpening, but um, there are some great tutorials on YouTube on high pass sharpening. All right, I'm going to deselect it, merge it again, and I'm going to save it. And that's it. Um, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. I know I talk fast. Hopefully it wasn't too fast.